Okay, let's go through all the free cars and bikes you can get in both Cyberpunk as of 2.0 and Phantom Liberty. I'm only covering the free vehicles in this, not the ones you can buy through the auto fixer or from other locations in the game. As always, if you find this video useful, don't forget to drop me a like. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. Completely up to you, whatever you want. Anyway, let's get on with it. Last and, well, possibly least, the Tanishi T400, which is a cute little Jeep. Looks like it can go deep in water too. It's got a snorkel. So uh, yeah, you get that one. This is actually given to you free by Mr. Hands coming into Dogtown. And that's how I got it anyway. I don't really use it much, but uh, it's useful to have at the same time. If you decide you don't agree with Pan Am during her quests, you can get a Cheyenne Coyote and it's a red one, although and anything other than color, it's identical to the blue one you get, but you get this one for free from Saul as a thank you for letting him know what uh, Pan Am's up to. But it, it's not one many people are driving around in because Pan Am's quest lane is actually pretty cool. And then going for it locks you out of trying that ending as well. And that's the Mitsutani Cheyenne Coyote. <laughs> Next we have the Thornton Colby CX410 Butte. Now, this is one you can purchase in a couple of different locations, but this particular one here can be obtained for free during the quest Dress to Kill. Now, this is simply just a place where you go and find the car. Um, it's in this location here. I've heard reports that this is actually a bit more bugged in 2.0 and it's not spawning anymore, but it's unlikely that it will be left that way. And at some point it will be available again if it gets patched, if it's not already being patched, depending on when you're watching this. But this is where you get it. If the vehicle is there, all you have to do is get into it just like with the Caliburn and uh, you can drive off and it's done and dusted. Next up we have the Thornton Mackinac Saguero. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's basically the truck you get from Dakota Smith after you finished all of her gigs in the Badlands. It's basically her fixer reward. Next we have the Thornton Mackinac Beast. Now this is Claire's vehicle, the one that she wants you to drive during the Beast in Me questline. And basically you can get this one. It's kind of the default vehicle you get because one way or another, she's reached the conclusion of her story. Another one is the Archer Quartz Bandit. This one was added in one of the later patches and it can be purchased, but you can also obtain this one for free. What you do is refuse Pan Am's request and don't worry, that doesn't impact getting the Caliburn. You can still get the Caliburn. I have tested it, it works. But if you refuse Pan Am and don't go after Nash, Rogue will give you this car for free. So it's a nice little gift. Okay, the free one that we will all get by default, and this is V's starting car, is the Hella ECD i360. Now, I don't really need to tell you about this one. It's the default car you get. It's got the wolf bubble head on the dash, and you know, it is the old trusty car that gets mashed by Delamain, but yeah, it's, it, it's uh, you know it. The next one is quite fun. It's the Villafort V4FC 580 Vato you get from the beat on the Brack quest line. And that's the fight in the Glen that you have with El Cesar. And you get a choice to include the car in your wager and you can hand him back the money because he's expecting a family and just keep the car. I mean, we don't need the money, right? We don't need the Euro dollars. They come thick and fast in Phantom Liberty now. <laughs> You can also get Scorpion's Apollo. This is a, an Apollo variant and it's obtained after the quest line where you're hunting for Anders Hellman and that's life during wartime. I won't go into any spoilers, but you get the bike then. You also have the Sport R7 Vigilante, which you get as a downloadable content car. I know there are some people on different platforms that have been having issues with that one, but hopefully that will be fixed so everyone will have access to it if they pre-ordered it, as is rightly so. Next up we 
Next, we have the Quadra Type 66 Cthulhu. And this one can be obtained if you manage to convince Claire Big race. Now, this is during the Beast in Me questline, and it requires you to go through a couple of specific conversation choices in the previous race in order to get this vehicle. It's not as clear cut as just making a choice at the end of the final race. If you didn't make the choices in the previous race, you won't get it. It's essentially Samson's car you're getting. You can also buy this one later on, I believe. Next up you have the Sport R7 Sterling. This is another Quadra vehicle and um, it's introduced as part of Phantom Liberty's DLC. You get it from the job Hi Ho Silver Lining which you get at the end of doing all of Mr. Hans's gigs in Pacifica and Dogtown. You have to do all of them. And I wonder is the R7 Sterling a nod to Sterling Archer? What do you think? Now I come to think of it, it kind of looks like his car. And speaking of fixer rewards, we have Dino's Quadra Type 66 640 TS. This is Dino's quest reward, and you get this from doing his gigs in the city center. I quite like this car. It's actually one of my favorite Quadras. Um, this one has a real kind of look of Steve McQueen's Mustang from Bullet. It has that same kind of green, and uh, it just looks super cool, I have to say. Next up, again, one of my early favorites was the Quadra Turbo R VTEC. This is the one you see in the promo screenshots with V standing next to it with the backdrop of the city. Really iconic looking. It has that futuristic Testarossa design. And um, yeah, you get it from completing a job called Life's Work, and that's in the Glen. Finishing that job triggers the job Sex on Wheels, in which you have to go and retrieve this one. Worthwhile getting, for sure. One of my personal favorites due to how you acquire it is the Arch Nazare Itsumade. This can be obtained two ways. One, by discovering it exists online and going to the garage where you can find it and punching in the code. And the other one is doing a quest called the Highwayman, one of the truly missable quests in the game. Again, depending on when you're watching this, that may be updated. You get the quest here and you look at the photograph and you find the guy and you basically do the quest and the quest will give you the code and you can unlock the garage door. This looks like the kind of bike a tiger claw who is mad about the green goblin would, uh, <laughs> would ride. Anyway. <laughs> Next up, we have the trusty old Thornton Galena GA40 XT Rattler. Now, this is a Nomad only car. It's the very first car you have when you start the game on the Nomad life path. It goes missing for a while, but later on, you'll get the quest. These boots are made for walking. Again, a Nomad only quest where you get to reacquire this car. Speaking of being a nomad, one of the nicest free bikes we can get is Jackie's Arch. It's the red and black version of the yellow and black version you can buy and um, you get it for free. Doesn't matter what you do, you will get this one. You'll either get handed the keys during the questline Heroes or they'll be delivered to your apartment if you don't do Heroes, but you will get this bike. Now, the interesting thing about it is you can get a slightly different variant of it if you are a nomad. You can get Jackie's Tuned Arch. So basically, when you go to meet him for the job the pickup uh, you'll be able to give him a suggestion about how to modify his vehicle at that point if you do that the version you will get is called jackie's tuned arch which shows you he took your advice the disappointing thing about it is there is absolutely no difference to jackie's tuned arch and what the corpo or street kid get jackie's arch they're both exactly the same apart from that little nod to the fact that he took your advice which is kind of cool but i think it could have been given a, like a slightly different exhaust note or maybe a couple of extra kilometers per hour either or would have done <laughs> this is 
this is a really special one and there's a lot of videos covering how to get this and I cover it on my previous things you miss video but you can get the Mackinac Demiurge which is essentially a monster truck using the Mackinac frame or chassis and it's fantastic it's actually so much fun to drive around in. it's not particularly fast but it goes over any surface and it goes over pretty much any car as well so yeah it's a good one to get you get this one from following the uh, breadcrumbs of FF06B5 and uh, Arasaka 3D and it'll lead you to this that's a whole nother video video uh, on where to get that one if you want to find it uh, check out uh, the video in the description below Now, during the quest Dazed and Confused, you can actually get a bike if you uh, throw your morals out of the window. It's very much like the Itsumade and it's Lena's bike. Now, it's just called Melina Mobile in your list. So it's basically an Arch Nazura Itsumade purple Lena Melina style. And you get that from picking the option that works out best for Lena Melina and Shank, not for Tool. Again, no real spoilers, but you can save beforehand if you want to try some of the different options. Next we have a Delamain car, the Cortez Delamain number 21. Now you get two versions of this depending on the outcome and Delamain's fate in Don't Lose Your Mind. You will get this car but the AI you get in it will depend on your choices in the quest. It's the same car, slightly different AI depending on your choices, it's up to you. And of course we have, you gotta know about this one, the Porsche 911 Mark II or II, which is Johnny's modified one. That's the 930 Turbo, the 1977 edition. Anyway, so it's been given extra context in Phantom Liberty because it had been shipped in for one of the twins, Americ, who was gonna buy it off of Grayson, um, but we end up nicking it. So <laughs> during the chip and in quest, again, I've covered that in other videos on where to get that one. But yeah, as long as you're in the chip and in quest, you can get it from one of the crates there there's a couple of different routes to acquisition during that quest to all nearby units suspicious activity reported in Pacifica what in Pacifica no way Now the Sport R7 Caron, which actually I didn't realize is a John Wick Easter egg in itself. Caron being the boatman who crosses the river Styx who you give gold to. Same character who you find in John Wick played by Lance Reddick who we lost earlier this year. It's got a cool effect that uh, has a flame hologram on the bonnet that appears when you start driving. It doesn't depend on how fast you're going, but if you tip a vehicle or a wall or anything like that, this effect goes and you have to respawn the car. That's cool though. Next we have the Herrera Outlaw, um, it's the Whaler or the Wheeler, Wyler, I don't know. And you get this from doing one of El Capitan's quests, Baby Let Me Take You. This is the one you get after doing eight of his vehicle missions. Uh, you'll get this one here. It's actually a really fun quest. This is an armor plated luxury weaponized sedan, uh, but it goes like stink too. It's pretty cool. Okay, next we have my old friend, the Rayfield Caliburn Merkman car. It's the black variant, it doesn't cost you anything. I've created several videos on this over the years. Sometimes it doesn't spawn for people. Make sure you go and try and pick it up in your own vehicle. I've heard that might actually be a key to it. Um, popping. It used to be that you used to need 40 street cred to get it, but I've managed to do it on lower than that. Long story short, after Ghost Town is completed, give it a few days, and as long as you've got the prerequisite street cred, you go back into the tunnel where you found it and killed Nash. It should be there waiting for you. It's a Batman Easter egg. Uh, you get the side quest. Merkman returns again once more forever. Anyway... Now, 
available in the base game and I want to finish off with one of my new absolute favorites number one top spot Quadra Type 66 Hone. This one is great. It's a tribute to Chem Block. I think it's an awesome car. And you find that one in the warehouse in Watson, just in this area here. And there's a little quest. You can find the keys in the box there. I've done a video on this one. And there you go, there's all the vehicles you can get either via quest rewards or for free as opposed to having to reach into your pockets. And if there's any free vehicles that I've missed off the list, please let me know and I'll do an updated video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this was useful as always. YouTube thinks you'd like this video. Check it out if you want. Otherwise, I will see you in my next one. Take care, folks. Bye.